I'm going to let you guys in on a little secret. I love Nicolas Cage. Absolutely love him. I think he's our greatest living actor and it's not even close. Ever since I saw him in Con Air, every movie they make has been can't miss. No matter what genre he's in, he absolutely thrives in it. Action, horror, drama, comedy, he can do it all. But due to some bad movie decisions, he's largely spent the last decade in video on demand purgatory. Not that I ever really cared. If there's a Cage movie coming out, I'm watching it day one. Which brings us to Renfield. Renfield is a comedy horror film directed by Chris McKay and starring Nicholas Holt as the title character and Nick Cage playing Count Dracula. Originating in Bram Stoker's novel Dracula, the character of Renfield was a creepy, insane lackey to Dracula. The movie story picks up with Renfield having lived as Dracula's servant for nearly a century. During that time, it's been his job to bring people for Dracula to eat and protect him from enemies like vampire hunters. According to the Count, Renfield's sole purpose in life is to serve him. But when we meet Renfield in the present day, he's grown tired of being Dracula's slave and wants to escape his clutches. Renfield breaks out on his own, even attending support meetings to try and recover from a century of serving an evil vampire. He even becomes a hero after saving several lives during a restaurant robbery and falls in love with a local cop, played by Aquafina. But Dracula is never too far behind and isn't going to let Renfield get away so easily. Nicholas Holt is good as the lead. I think he's a really underrated actor who's going to become a major movie star one day. He plays Renfield as a socially awkward and slightly disturbed individual who's trying to better himself. I love the scenes he has with the self-help group and how he refers to his time spent being Dracula's servant. And a lot of the movie is clearly an allegory for people being trapped in a toxic codependent relationship with Dracula being the manipulative narcissist and Renfield being the abused caretaker. Cage is Dracula as a master manipulator and control freak. He's controlled Renfield for a century by making him believe he's nothing without him. He even convinces Renfield to save his life at the beginning of the movie when a group of vampires are about to kill him. That Dracula will be better to him from now on. And this is after Renfield's already begun to grow tired of living as his servant. He's got Renfield wrapped around his finger. Dracula looks at Renfield as someone who's only there to meet his needs. So much so that when Renfield brings up the mere idea of doing something he'd like to do, Dracula disembowels him on the spot. And then saves him after Renfield once again pledges loyalty to him. It's all about what the Count wants and nothing else. If Holt is good as Renfield, then Nicolas Cage is epic as Dracula. He's operating on another level than the rest of the movie. His performance is just a reminder to everyone why he's one of the greatest actors of all time. You don't even see Nicolas Cage in the role, you just see his Dracula. He's so good that the movie's less interesting when he's not on screen. Cage and Holt do their parts in carrying the movie. The problem is after those two, there isn't that much else that works in the film. Aquafina is the third lead, and she's playing police officer Rebecca Quincy. She meets Renfield after he saves her life and becomes his love interest in the story. I've never seen Aquafina in anything else besides this, but she's just awful. It was a mistake to cast her as a lead in this. She's loud and obnoxious and she has no chemistry with Nick Holt. All I can think about while watching her is, they couldn't get anyone better for this? Was Kat Dennings not available? Aquafina winds up being a distraction and brings the movie down. Another problem is tone. The movie doesn't know what it wants to be. It thrives as a gothic horror comedy with Renfield attending a 12-step support group and getting out of a codependent relationship with Dracula while Dracula tries to destroy everything in Renfield's new life. That's when the movie's at its best. But then you've got a bad Renfield and Rebecca love story. You've also got the movie turning into an action thriller at different times. Renfield goes from this awkward, nervous guy and then all of a sudden he can fight like he's in the Matrix. Apparently if Renfield eats a bug, he gets superhuman powers. I'm sure whoever came up with the idea was like, if this is a hit, we can turn Renfield into a superhero franchise. I'm sure they already had ideas about sequels with Renfield fighting other monsters like Frankenstein and the Wolfman. Another thing that hurts the film is focusing on Rebecca and her subplot of trying to take down the Lobo gang, the mafia in New Orleans who killed her father. In a movie about trying to escape from Dracula, this story about Aquafina trying to avenge her father takes up like half of the fucking movie. It's uninteresting and it drags the whole time. Who gives a shit? You've got Nicolas Cage's Dracula there and you're focusing on some random henchman. It's also completely predictable because of course the gang and Dracula team up at the end. So Aquafina can have her own reason why she needs to be at the final fight. And yes, Dracula teams up with the gang. He doesn't just kill them or enslave them all. He just teams up with random henchmen because he needs them for some reason. The movie needed a big fight between Renfield and Dracula that didn't really happen. Dracula has spent a century controlling and hurting Renfield and making him his bitch. The movie should have ended with an epic ass whooping for Dracula because of it. That's when the action should have kicked in, 
Instead, it's Aquafina who beats Dracula instead of Renfield. What the fuck? Ultimately, I think Renfield is an alright movie. It had the potential to be way better, though. If I had to give it a grade, it'd be a C-. And in today's world, we're going to the cinema is so damn expensive, a C- isn't enough. Save yourself some cash and wait till Renfield arrives on streaming before checking it out. You'll thank me later.